start. May I? Oh. Move the left pedal up and down. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. Very early start of reorg, which was invented. Wow. Huh. And it's for travel. Not only for a It's very shallow. Yeah. Very shallow. Mechanics. Almost every piano of today looks like this. Yeah. Wow. You can try it. This is fascinating. See the evolution. Yeah. Yeah, this is. Oh. Yeah, it's very different. It's so quick. Yeah. And so you have to be careful to get a nice sound. Main difference for a piano player, you can see the hammer. It goes um, straight down again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so uh, with this one, it stays up. And if you let it go, then it goes down. Ah. But this one goes straight down instant, instantly, yeah, instantly. Yeah. With this one, you have the, the possibility to, to make uh, like repetitions very mm. fast because it stays up. Mm -hmm. So you can make repetitions very fast. Mm -hmm. This one is very difficult. Ah. Because, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but then for Schumann, a lot of pieces require repetition. So then yeah. it's hard um, to do it on the original. Yeah. Um, and also during Schumann's um, life, uh, the piano mechanics changed already. Yeah. So they used already. So the it was piano, already this one. Um, a lot, yeah. Mm. In the beginning also, I think it's just more sensitive, this one. So you have more control? possibility to, to control, to make dynamics. And, uh, mm. Yeah. Uh, so they changed, with this one, they changed the mechanics of the dampfer also a bit. Yeah, I can see. You can see yeah. that. I mean, most of it, I can feel it, but yeah. it's a bit harder for me to understand because yeah, I'm also, not an engineer, it's you know? Also Stein composed uh, studies for, for this instrument. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is difficult. The sound is so much deeper here yeah. already. And so this is the second one, the action, right? The English. Schumann composed especially for this instrument. Wow. Mm. Is it a square piano? Yeah. Oh, it's also Dresden. Wieck sold the instruments by Rosenkranz. Mm. So I forgot about that. I know he taught piano, but I forgot yeah. he also sold instruments. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not in tune, but you can try it. Wow, so shallow. Hmm. It sounds like a music box, the, yeah. the sound. It's surprisingly deep sound for a small instrument. Like what is this for? It's also for training the muscles. So it's heavier. It's heavier, yeah. Right. If you don't use the feet, yeah, that's right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, ah, but you can nice. also uh, use the feet like uh, regularly, like this, mm. and then play. And while yeah, playing. Yeah. While play. So, um, like feet are doing the rhythm, the, the metro. Twenty-seven. This was Clara Schumann's piano. 
I... I don't know what to say. I just can't believe that I have this opportunity to play. So huge thank you to Schumann Halves here and also to you for having a place for me to do things like this. It's just crazy. I'm gonna play something special about this piano is that it could look like a modern piano with three pedals but if I press this one in modern times this is the soft pedal this one is usually for singling out one note to hold on to and then being able to play everything else with that damper pedal this piano though this is an extra soft pedal this is the soft pedal so you get two levels of soft pedal just so you can see this is when I press the damper pedal and then when I press the soft pedal but then the double one ooh it goes farther that's the difference yeah also, I have to say, I'm sorry, I did not film my very, very first time playing through two pieces, but it's just because I wanted to experience the piano without setting up the camera and interrupting my own flow. But I did have some first impressions that I can talk about now. So, you notice the keys are very, very shallow. Look at that. That is the distance that you can travel, that's it. That's it. Of course, there's less keys. It only goes down to here. And up here, it goes to... If you go over here, this piano... It's already a lot more modern. And there's already deeper distance you can go down the key. So I wanted to record number five mazurka, but it turns out this piano, there's one key missing. It only goes to F, but I need an E, so I can't play it for you. Not properly, so maybe I'll try other pieces, but I'm excited. to doubt myself whether I'm playing the right notes when I play on something so special the piano touch sound I guess I memorize a lot based on how the keys feel and also how they sound to my brain so it always questions my memory <laughs> a little bit when I play on instruments like this I guess an admiration that I've been kind of growing the more times I get to experience pianos from the 1800s is imagining how sensitive pianists back then were with their touch. Now you can bang on the keys, you can do so many other things and the piano won't have that reaction. Whereas this, in order to play well, you have to be very, very in touch with the keys in a way so that there's no gap because there's no room. There's not a lot of room for you to make mistakes and to hesitate or to play rough in any means. I don't know, it's just everything's so different. I hope the mic picks this up. 
the instrument rings a lot more, even though, as you saw previously, the mechanism is that it releases immediately. how to play it so that it would have a sound. See, I could easily do this. Nothing comes out. of justice based on its history but I think by the end the last half hour I got a little bit better and more sensitive and just more used to the shallow shallow key that was hard but hope you enjoyed the music and the experience be kind to keep us dry. Mm -hmm. 